have iTunes all launched and I have a brand new iPad hooked up to it. In this case what we want to do is set it up as a new iPad. So I'm going to check set up as new iPad. It's asking me here do I want to restore from a previous backup but in this case we're going to set it up as a brand new iPad for a new user. So set up as new iPad and then I hit continue. It asks me for a name. We'll just name it test1. Now I want to uncheck automatically sync songs to my iPad and automatically sync apps to my iPad. I don't want anything to freeze up on the user and I want the user to have control of what they're syncing. Then I hit done. And now I can kind of go through my preferences on the iPad. So what I have here is backup to this computer. So I need to make sure that I'm setting this up on the user's computer and that I'm going to back it up to this computer. I want to uncheck open iTunes when this iPad is connected because I don't want anything to freeze and I want the user to have control of what opens and what doesn't open. And I'll leave manage, manually manage music and videos checked. Now we can go to the next tab, info. Here I don't want to check anything. All my contacts, all my emails, those are being synced through Exchange. So I don't need to do any of that here. My apps, I'll check sync, sync apps and let the user decide what it is that they want to sync just by checking. And then I want to uncheck automatically sync new apps. I'll just uncheck these here. Tones, we don't need to worry about that. Leave that unchecked. Music, we don't need to worry about that. Movies, you can leave that. TV shows, you can leave that. Books, you don't have to worry about it. And photos, sometimes the user will have a number of photos that they want on the iPad that are related to work. If that's the case, all you have to do is choose the folder that the photos are being synced in. In my case, my photos are being synced from iPhoto but they could be in a specific folder or wherever on the computer and it will sync from that location. So just check whatever it is that the user needs and that will automatically sync. At the end you just hit apply at the bottom right and that's it. Every, every change that you've made, everything you've checked automatically downloads into the iPad. So let's take a look here. Let's go to apps, we'll check a couple things and then hit apply. It does a backup. It's now syncing the two apps that I've told it to into the iPad. If I had checked any photos, it would be syncing photos right now. And that's it. Now you can disconnect the iPad and you have a brand new iPad for a new user. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask.